So Dean Gaffney offered you a massage? He yeah. may have been offering me a massage, but I took it that he meant in the health centre I could get a free <laughs> massage. I don't think, why would Dean come up to me and go, free <laughs> massage later? Holly, what kind of leadership are you looking for from John this evening? Well, I think you can tell a, a, good, a leader by their hair. That's my philosophy. I mean, like, look at Donald, <laughs> Donald Trump. Incredible hair, great leader. Um, Branson, big hair. String fellow. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't call him a leader. Is he... Do, do you follow him? Sort of spiritually. <laughs> it's a crying shame he's never had a mention in the honours list. Mm. To services... To... To Dean Gaffney. Services to <laughs> Dean Gaffney. <laughs> <laughs> Giving Dean Gaffney something to do. <laughs> I met Dean recently in a hotel in Newport, in Wales. What, was he serving breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> hotel in Newport and Dean was there. We had a nice chat. He told me I could get free drinks. <laughs> how, how do you get free drinks in... I don't know, he didn't say, he just raised his eyebrows and went, free drinks here. <laughs> and uh, I went, cheers, Dean. He seemed like a nice chap. And uh, we went our separate ways. Did he have his little cart with him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, he said I could get free massage, not free drinks. <laughs> <laughs> So Dean Gaffney offered you a massage? He may have been offering me a massage, but I took it that he meant in the health centre I could get a free <laughs> massage. I don't... Why would Dean come up to me and go, free massage later? <laughs> the raising of the eyebrows afterwards suggested it might be more of a... Trouble is, Holly, I'm, I'm a naturally sexual person, so I, I didn't mean to convey it was a lewd eyebrow raising. It's just when I do it, I can't help it be sexual. <laughs> if Sean did it, it'd probably be better. Just say free massage and raise your eyebrows. Free massage? Yeah, it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it like this? Free massage. <laughs> 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 I didn't even meet Dean Gaffney. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into my trap. <laughs> Let's not call it a trap, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I've always called it my trap. <laughs> Yeah, there's something wrong with my trap. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the doctor and told... Uh, and I went to my doctor and I said, there's something wrong with my backside, I'm a bit worried about it. And he goes, OK, it'll probably, it'll probably sort itself out. And I went, well... He doesn't sound very gay. <laughs> I went, well, I am... I Is am... he behind the door? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, it may well sort <laughs> <laughs> itself out, but I'd like some more reassurance of that, because I've been worried about it for a while now. What was and the he, actual problem? He goes, OK, oh, well, it was a bit of a mess down there. I don't want to go into it. <laughs> so I said, I'm worried about it. Can you, can you... And he said, it'll probably sort itself out. And I said, yeah, but I need more reassurance than that. And he said, um, oh, well... Fuck off, he said, <laughs> <laughs> he, said it's, he said, it's probably a... He said, it's probably a fisher or something like... or something like that, he said. <laughs> and I said, look, I'm sorry, I need more than this. And he said, and I quote... <sighs> you want me to put my finger up there, don't you? <laughs> 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 Who do you think I am? Dean Gaffney. <laughs> OK, time to go across once again to Dictionary Corner. Greg, what have you got for us? When I was an educator, uh, as I was for many years, um, I was fortunate enough... Uh, th there was a guest speaker at the school that I taught at, and it was the ex-champion uh, boxer Chris Eubank. <laughs> <laughs> um, he very kindly came in for nothing to inspire the children, um, and he did a three-and-a-half-hour lecture to them. <laughs> uh, that it was unusual, <laughs> uh, and it consisted of him telling some loose anecdotes, um, but he interspersed them with very aggressive poems. <laughs> <laughs> that he made up himself, which he... <laughs> which he shouted into the children's faces. <laughs> um, and, it, you know, it was, it was really inspiring. Anyway, I realised afterwards... I didn't think I could do impressions, I've never been able to do impressions, that I can do an incredible impression of Chris Eubank. And because he inspired me that day, I've realised that classic works of literature sound better through Eubank's voice. <laughs> What a, what a wonderful uh, treat for us all. I thought I'd present some to you. And before I do, I would tell you that my agent and every member of production I've spoken to on this show has made it very clear they think this is a terrible idea. <laughs> 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 and that's coming after 
jumping on people. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I have to. I take a while. I, have to, I take a while to get Chris's voice. So bear with me. I have to. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it was the best of times. <laughs> Please. It was the best of times. <laughs> it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. <laughs> it was the age of foolishness. Thank you very much. I mean, the sad thing is, it's actually a very good Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? <laughs> Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds just. <laughs> I wanted to compare the meerkats. <laughs> if Chris Newberg was here, he wouldn't be offended. <laughs> That's how bad it is. I, I say, uh, you know what, Greg? Say pugilist a few times. That, seems, that, that gets me in right. That's his key word. I wasn't a fighter, I was a pugilist. <laughs> are you talking to me? You, well, then who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> you sound like a villain in Danger Mouse. That's what you said. Yeah, that's the evil man. <laughs> I, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm finished. What the fuck is that? It's one of the worst impressions ever. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Did he fire six shots or five? <laughs> well, <laughs> to the truth, it. <laughs> Excitement, I kind of lost track myself. <laughs> You've got to ask yourself one question. <laughs> Do you feel lucky? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> My name is Maximus. <laughs> I think I've made my point, Jimmy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, I found it very moving, actually. Going, crying quite a bit. <laughs> Gen genuinely, one of the worst impressions, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's okay to say as well. When we go to Dish Record, it's okay to say, "I don't have a talent, so just move on." <laughs> <laughs> if they were my fault, I'd have they whipped for being all before that time. <laughs> Oh, God, again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's so unprofessional. What you're doing is unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's professional. <laughs> you call that professional? <laughs> I mean, literally two hours ago, I was speaking to my agent, and he went, I don't know, Greg, is it that good, your impression? <laughs>